This is George from High Tech Legion. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Silverstone TJ-08E enclosure. The TJ-08E is a really unique piece in a lot of ways. First off, it is for, uh, made specifically for small form factor computers. Um, it stands only 374 millimeters tall. It will have a micro ATX or ITX mainboard only, no full size ATX. So as you can see, it is very short. However, it is made uh, for a performance build to go inside. You're not going to give up a whole lot like you will in an HTPC enclosure. With the run of smaller form factor builds uh, going on these days in HTPCs, this makes perfect sense for the user who wants a full-fledged performance build inside of a small form factor case. There's a lot of unique features to the TJ-080, and let's start up uh, uh, right on the front of the case itself. First off, the front of the case is real aluminum. It is not plastic made to look like aluminum. It is a black brushed aluminum finish, really nice looking, finely crafted. Two five and a quarter inch optical drive openings up top. Right under that we see uh, front I.O., two USB 3.0s as well as the audio, and the power and reset button. In between them, which you probably can't see too well, is the hard drive light as well as the power light. Under that, you got a fairly good sized grill. Behind that grill is an AP 180 180mm fan. So you've got a really nice big intake fan there. It's going to provide a lot of the air to the inside of the case, uh, also variable speed. Under that, you see the uh, 3.5 inch drive opening. A lot of people are going to think, well, why are you going to put a 3.5 inch drive opening there? It actually makes perfect sense in this type of application. Uh, a lot more and more we're seeing people using their three and a half inch bays for card readers or fan controls. You rarely, if ever, see a floppy disk anywhere. And if you do, it's still accessible. So having it down there actually makes incredible sense and also works very well with the layout inside, which again is going to be very, very unique. Moving up to the top of the TJ-080, as you can see, black steel up top, very, very nice finish throughout on the case. Really nice, even black finish, uh, not a single bit of fisheye or bubbling anywhere. Very, very solid uh, fit and finish on the case. Up top, you see, we've got a magnetic dust shield, easily removable and washable. Underneath it is where your power supply is going to sit. So this is actually dust shield for the power supply itself. So it's going to be very, very easy to pop off and clean, keep the dust out of the system. The side panels of the TJ-080 are again steel with the same nice black finish on both side panels. Nothing fancy, no windows, um, nowhere to you know have your flashing lights, no side fans, just straight black nice finished side panels. Now if you take a look at the nose on the side, you can actually see a slight opening which appears on both sides. A little push on one side, pull on the other. and your dust screen for the front fan comes out, easily cleanable once again, and will slide right back into place. Great dust protection on the TJ-080. Everywhere it's going to intake air, there is a dust filter. Going around the back of the TJ-080, uh, things start getting a little bit more interesting. Take a look, got your power supply opening up top, and directly under it is four expansion slots. with your I.O. plate on the bottom. This is a reverse mount uh, case. The motherboard is going to go in what you would consider upside down from traditional. So your I.O. ports wind up on the bottom, PCI slots up top, power supply on top of that. So basically entirely upside down to the traditional build. This is done entirely for airflow characteristics inside the case. Also have on the back an opening for a 120 millimeter fan, which is optional. Take a look, all tool free on the back for the side panels. So we saw some very interesting stuff on the outside of the TJ-080 that hinted at uh, some very interesting stuff going on inside. So heading inside, taking a look, got the front up here. We're going to take off the left hand side panel or right hand depending on how you look at it. Um, typically, this is going to be the opening to the cavity and what everybody's going to open first. It is a slide off side panel, slides off very easily, but not what you're expecting. You're looking at the back of the motherboard tray. As you can see, the motherboard tray is completely removable. 
screws up top, right in the bottom. Motherboard tray will come out. You can mount your motherboard, everything to the tray, and then put the tray into place. Your front I.O. cables coming through the side, and more importantly, a really nice huge cutout for the uh, back of the motherboard. So when you're mounting a CPU cooler, back plate, you're going to have plenty of access. Good tie down points, as well as plenty of cable writing options. You've got a great deal of room up here. You've got a good amount of room between the motherboard tray and the side of the case. For such a small form factor case, you've got really a nice amount of cable routing, as I said. Turning the case around now to the view with inside the right hand side of the case, we get a much better look at the interior. This is where all of your components are going to actually be installed, into the right hand side, not the left hand side. As I said, everything about this case is upside down and reversed from what you're probably used to seeing. So taking a look, you've got all of your front I.O. wiring as well as the fan wiring coming down from the front top. In the front, we've got hard disk drive cage capable of four drives, typically screws in, two screws, and it's completely removable. This way you can mount your hard disks and put it into place. Or more significantly, you can open up all the room in front of this giant 180 millimeter intake fan and have better airflow. Underneath that, you have room for one SSD as well as one three and a half inch uh, hard disk. So if you're running an SSD with a three and a half inch mechanical data drive, it can all be mounted right here, right underneath the fan. Or if you're going with more, the hard disk drive cage is there. Taking a look, again, good amount of room, beautiful cutout, really, truly, in the motherboard tray, very nice. Really interesting feature down here is the CPU cooler support. Naturally, as I say, this is made for a performance build. Regardless of the fact that it is going to be a small form factor, if you're putting in a performance build, you're going to need a good CPU cooler. You've got 163 millimeters from front to back for height for your CPU cooler, so you can use a large CPU cooler. So you're not stressing that little ITX or um, micro ATX motherboard too much. You've actually got the little jack stand here, which can support the CPU cooler for you, tightens up on the bottom, and will lock it into place so you're not stressing the motherboard really interesting concept. Uh, as you can see, everything mounts upside down. Once again, PCI slots up top, front or uh, rear I.O. down the bottom. Taking a look at the TJ-080 accessories. You have your manual. It is a very, very thorough manual. A lot of pictures, a lot of assembly instructions. The TJ-08E is a very well-engineered case. It is also a bit of a complex case when you first look at it. It's not what you're used to, so it's not going to be as intuitive as the, um, the standard case. So you're going to want to refer to the manual a lot. And great pictures. As we say, it is a small case, micro ATX or mini ITX form factor. Resultantly, there's a really nice section in the manual on component size limitations and how to work with your components turning your CPU cooler around if you're using the hard drive cage and using a large CPU cooler. Uh, quite a bit as far as the component size limitations and how to go work with them. Moving on, USB 3.0 to USB 2 adapter. If your motherboard does not have USB 3.0 provisions, only USB 2.0 on board, you can still use the front panel USBs as USB 2.0s using the adapter. All of your motherboard standoffs, motherboard screws, uh, power supply screws, etc. Silverstone nameplate, rubber vibration damping pad for wherever you might need it, and wire ties for your wire routing. The Silverstone TJ-080 is really a beautiful and unique piece. Really puts a lot of power in the hands of someone looking to build a small form factor system. Um, it uses the space in ways we haven't seen before and uses it very wisely. Even right down to the front panel layout of using the 3.5 inch down the bottom is very unique. Uh, the 180 millimeter intake fan with no exhaust using a positive pressure system whereby you have more air coming in than going out this is not only going to keep the system cool but is also going to keep dust out. Very, very important. Plus you do have dust filters on both the uh, intake points of the case. You've got room for five hard drives, 
the hard drive disk cage, um, which holds four of them, is completely removable and is going to open you up for more airflow. You have very little limitation as far as the size of cooler you're using with 163 millimeter um, high clearance. You also have the cooler stand down the bottom, which is going to help to support the cooler and put less stress on the motherboard. Really interesting, unique case from Silverstone, the TMJ, uh, I should say the TJ08E.